Welcome to our first short specific video for Star Wars Visions Volume 2. Today we're talking about the first short in the collection, Sith by Elgiri Studios. Okay, first I have to point out how visually stunning this one is. I love the art style and the paint aesthetic. This is an art piece, and like all art, it's up for interpretation, so I'm going to take a stab at what writer and director Rodrigo Blas has to say. I think Sith might be about the creative process. Our main character, Lola, and her droid E2 live in this trippy white building, and we can only see its structure thanks to paint that's been splattered around on the walls. While Lola sleeps and has bad dreams, darkness seeps out of her. I think the blank canvas she inhabits is like a person's mind. We all begin with a clean mind, but as we go through life, our experiences change us. The white of our mind becomes filled with bright, happy, and colorful memories, but also sad, hurtful, and dark ones. Lola is determined to fill her house or her mind with only bright colors, but no matter how hard she tries, the darkness keeps creeping in. Even the steps she takes make the world around her black as she heads deeper into an ominous hallway. I think we as people tend to present ourselves as bright and happy all the time. That's the aspiration, to be happy and not sad or angry. So on the surface, things seem bright or colorful, but I see this journey as Lola traveling deeper into her own mind where she tries to keep her darker thoughts and feelings buried. But that's not how people work. She wants to create a painting, and no matter how hard she tries, she can't cover up the darkness and even says, it's like darkness wants to be part of the painting. Because even though it's difficult, the emotions of the dark side are a part of life. We all experience fear, anger, and hatred. Star Wars doesn't deny those emotions, we are simply told not to let them control us. And I think on some level, burying them deep down, not acknowledging them at all, is still allowing them some level of control. We soon learn that Lola was once a Sith, and her old master has come to make her join him once again. So, I have to imagine, Lola has done some things she's not proud of. She probably gave in to her fear and anger plenty of times before, but she decided to be better. Now she's committing herself to the light side and only the light side, refusing to accept that there is darkness within her at all. The whole chase sequence on the wheel bike is really cool, and I loved E2's hero moment with his cannon, but the Sith Master chases Lola back to her home. She is clearly terrified, but she takes a breath, accepts the fear, and steps out to meet him. That's what Star Wars tells us to do. It doesn't tell us to never be afraid. It tells us to accept and acknowledge you were afraid of something, and then face it. Same with your anger. To be angry is to be human. But if you completely ignore those emotions, they will fester and get worse and worse, turning into hate and suffering. Lola realizes that darkness is a part of her just as much as the light is. When she accepts that idea, she is able to better control the colors she puts out into the world. She acknowledges her past as a Sith and accepts everything that has made her who she currently is, and she defeats the Sith Master that represents her dark past. But she makes it a point to say she is not going back. She accepts her past and her fear and her anger, but she will no longer let them control her. And from that point forward, she knows she is able to paint her own destiny. By the way, outside of this short, I love the idea of a Sith Master who lost his apprentice and had to angrily track them down to keep the rule of two going. I think that's a super interesting concept. This was timed very well with a Yoda comic that came out in April. Yoda asks a Padawan if he senses the dark side in him, and the Padawan says no, of course not. But Yoda responds that the dark side is always present in him. It's not separate from the Force, it's part of the Force. We can't bury the temptation of the dark side, we will always feel those emotions. So to go back to what I said at the start, what does any of this have to do with the creative process? I think we all have the impulse to hide our full selves at times. I wouldn't consider myself an artist, but I could see painters, musicians, writers, filmmakers, authors, anyone who puts art out into the world, they might feel fearful of putting their entire heart and soul into a piece. Not only is it scary to be vulnerable, but there are also people out there who are very vocally against supposed identity politics. They want you to keep certain parts of yourself buried, but art is about expressing yourself and who you are. I think Sith is a great short to kick off Volume 2 of Star Wars because, unfortunately, there are people out there who are against new voices coming into this franchise. I think it must be daunting for artists to step into this universe and present their whole, personal, and cultural identity to the entire world. I think I would be scared if I were in that position, but I'd like to think I would acknowledge the fear, take a breath, and do it anyway. I think that's what all nine of these shorts accomplished, and it's pretty awesome that the very first short is a celebration of that idea.
I have no idea if that's what Rodrigo Blas was going for when he set out to make Sith, but that's what it made me think of. So now I want to hear what it made you think of. How did you interpret this short? Let me know in the comments. If you haven't already, please like this video, subscribe to the channel for our continuing Star Wars Visions coverage, follow us on TikTok, Twitter, and Instagram, and consider checking out our Patreon page. As always, thanks for watching, and may the Force be with you.